Well, well, hello again and welcome back to Open Your Bible. We give God thanks for having another opportunity to get Open Your Bible with our children. We're going to sing our theme song, Heavenly Sunshine. Heavenly Sunshine, Heavenly Sunshine, God of my soul is Lord divine. Hallelujah, I rejoice in singing His praises, Jesus is mine. How are your neighbor? How are your neighbor? I'm glad to see you here again. How are your neighbor? How are your neighbor? I'm glad to see you here again. Heavenly sunshine, heavenly sunshine, God, my soul is glory divine. Hallelujah, I rejoice. Sing Jesus in love, right? Jesus in love. A song about Jesus is love, right? <coughs> She must bring forth fruit, and the Lord said that we must bring forth fruit. And I want to thank God for all of this. Um, today, this morning, we're going to be talking about the blind, to be kind to the blind. And I was thinking about it that um, today, children are, you know, they like to have this, you know, and um, they spend their time on this. And yet still, sometimes, I wonder, information that is readily available, they don't know it. I mean, it could be 
um, the weather is supposed to change, a storm or something. They don't know, and it's right here, but they didn't see it, right? Um, anyway, what I'm saying is that when we were growing up, <coughs> one of the things we learned as children was to be kind to the blind. Um, one of the, we, when we would pass on the street and you would see somebody who is blind, or the first thing you would notice, right? That person has a, a cane or a stick, and you see that person like touching, touching the head and touching and walking slowly and right and sometimes that person is walking with somebody else it, and if that person is walking with somebody else what would that person do right that person would hold that person by the hand usually something like this and so when you step right the person who's blind would, would step with you but even then when they have a stick they would still be using the stick to, because the stick tells them what if there is something in the way that could they could hit upon, you know, so the stick would tell them, oh, there's a wall here, so don't walk this way. There is something here. But then there are times when the stick cannot help them, like when they have to cross the street, right? And so when we were growing up as children, our teacher taught us that Whenever we see the blind in the street, we should help them. How about you children today? I don't see children doing that today. In fact, well, children don't. <laughs> on, the, on the street, like when I was growing up, of course, they go to school in, in the school buses and the buses pick them up. But even then, they are on the street. I see children on the street. They're collecting something for their football club or their soccer, soccer club or something of the sort. Right, what do you do when you see the blind? Do you like turn it and say like turn away your head? But you must be kind to the blind. Our teacher taught us that when you see them if they're trying to cross the street and you're there trying to cross the street, you should go and just hold them by the hand and help them along as they cross the street. It would make them feel much better if they know that somebody who's able to see the traffic and see what's going on around them. It's by their side. As I told you, they're still not going to put down the cane or the stick that they have in front of them. They're still going to keep it because it is the thing that gives them the confidence how to um, know where to go. And um, I have, my grandmother, she became blind, wasn't born blind, but she became blind. So she used to walk with a stick, right, up to the time of her death when she could actually go in and out. and. And the stick was really important to them, that cane. So now they have a thing they call a white cane, where you see a child, um, person with a white cane, it tells you that the person is blind, okay? And it means that you should give special, um, you know, love and attention to that person, right? Not for you to like turn from your face and say, oh, I mean, you know what, that person is blind, you know, because but sometimes people think that's because you are some, you're bad or something is wrong with you or you're blind, but it has nothing to do with who you are. The Bible tells us about a man named uh, Bartimaeus and that he was blind in Mark chapter um, 10. And um, he had heard that Jesus was the one who healed the blind. This is something that people cannot understand because, you know, it's not, it's not like say you have something in your stomach and you can, you know, take it out, or a tumor or something, you can take it out. The blindness is, is abstract. You don't know how it is. It's like when you have your sight. It's not like you can just, like, take it out and then put it back in. Right? It's either you have it or you don't have it, you know? And so um, he heard that Jesus had healed blind people. And so when he heard that Jesus was passing by, he cried out, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. Right? And the scripture tells you it here. It said, um, when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, I'm reading from Mark chapter 10, he, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. And many charged him that he should hold his peace. But he cried the more aloud a great deal, thou son of David, have mercy on me. 
And Jesus stood still and commanded him to be called. And they called the blind man, saying unto him, Be of good cheer, be of good comfort, rise, he calleth thee. And he cast in away his garment, rose, and came to Jesus. And Jesus answered and said unto him, What wilt thou that I should do unto thee? The blind man said unto him, Lord, that I might receive my sight. And Jesus said unto him, Go thy way, thy faith hath made thee whole. And immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus in the way. Right. So that's why I said, do you have it or you don't have it? Right. It's not like something you have in your pocket or something you have in your mouth or something you have in your stomach. You can just take it out now. You either have it or you don't have it. And not even like the blood in your vein. Right? It's either you have it or you don't have it. It's like your life. And so Jesus said, your faith has made you whole. I said, well, you, whatever you desire, it's granted. Your wish is granted. And immediately, he received his sight. So today we thank God for this story about um, that Jesus cared for the blind. Uh, we might not be able to heal the blind, but it, um, but it is possible that God could use us today to heal the blind. That's like when he walked this earth. Uh, he could do the same thing again. Right? But, um, but even until then, you will always have the blind people. And so I'm saying to you, as children, children of God, whoever you are, must always be kind to the blind. Right? Be kind to the blind. Let us pray at this time. I might to God, which is a great Yahweh who dwell between the children. The Lord holds their name. Be shine for the earth, your glory. Let your glory rest upon us. Your light shine out of us. Be exalted far above the heavens. Be exalted far above the earth, be exalted far above the heaven, that thy glory be above the clouds, that thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever, and the mighty Yeshua may share the great time, Lord. Father, we thank you for your salvation, Father, as we pray today for the children, and for everyone that watches this video, Lord, I pray for them, that you bless them, and I pray that you open um, their eyes to see when they can be kind, my God, Amen. To be kind to the blind of the Father. Amen. Those who are less fortunate than we are, my God, uh, not because they are bad or they are wicked or evil, but our Father, but so you have put it in the world, of our Father. There are some imper imperfections in the world, and we are there who have better opportunities to help them. So, Father, we pray for the children. Pray for them. They might have someone who is blind at school, right? And it's, I know. It's almost impossible. There's none. There's always be somebody who's blind at school. There's always be somebody who's blind. There's be somebody who's blind in their church. Maybe there's somebody who's blind. I mean, on the street, Father, may they have the love and the care to help them, as they you would show them, my God. And so bless us to live for Thee, my God. But provide for the children, their parents, or open doors for them, Lord. Keep them from predators and from evil. Cause us to rise up before the establish our going up and coming in. God, that the purpose of our lives accomplish us for time and eternity. Cover on the bird, share the great tail of land, cover their mighty wings, a great tail of hand. Go before us the pillar of fire by night, for by day, save us in your kingdom, the Lord. Be sure the great shall come and go. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Lord. Be sure we share the great tail of crystal, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And so I don't know, I want to um, say greet, uh, greetings, hello to, to Rebecca and to Annika over there in Pakistan. Thank you for the work uh, that you're doing with the children. And God is, God is, um, to reward you, but, and I pray, I don't know who else, of, uh, but I do believe that in your country, I hope that they teach the children to be kind to the blind. Um, this is to become a very selfish world, and um, you know people are more like just for themselves. And but we as children of God, we have to teach our children the right things. And, and not because of church where I learned this, um, but I learned it in school. Yeah, but you see, in those days, school had the Bible. <laughs> you see, school had the Bible. Let me just sing a song here. <laughs> I love it. 
Tag 